Welcome to you on the Valley. It's the Axel Matheson from Rome. It's what? The Axel Matheson? No, the Axel Matheson, sorry. You fucked me up first. Cut, cut. cut. Take Welcome. two. Fucking shit, there's another one. I, I go for a fucking... Welcome to you on the Valley. It's the uh, Axel Matheson from Rome, Italy. That's a wee shout out to Paul John Dix and all the guys and girls from Axel, which is the best Celtic podcast going. Shaz one on the Valley is the second best, very close to get there. Me and my friend Seamus, we're going to ask Sha an awful lot of stupid questions. Over to you, Sha. Thanks a lot, Paddy. Well, welcome back to On The Volley. Okay, we're here at the Fingers Irish Pub. The Celtic Pub in Rome. As they said, the Celtic Pub in Rome. And I'm glad to say... Slauncher. Oh, Slauncher. Oh, hold up, hold on, Slauncher. She wants things, but I'm glad to say that finally, the boys from Ardoin are here in Rome. Now, First thing I'd like to say is I'd like to give a shout out to Axon because uh, they gave me a shout out. As you can see, we're all wearing the Axon Celtic top, okay? The boys brought it over for me. Okay, thank you very much. Love this top, man. Welcome, welcome. It's a kicking top and enough respect to Axon for putting out a top like this, okay? Great quality. And as Paddy said, a great, great podcast. Um, thank you very much for the, what's the word for it, the compliment that you gave us, okay, I don't quite agree with you, you know, uh, I appreciate it, I think there's quite a few uh, other um, uh, YouTube channels out there, Celtic YouTube channels that are way in front of us, um, enough respect to them as well, um, but you know, I'm just glad to be here with you boys, I'm glad to be here doing this. Now, they are going to be questioning me on something which a lot of people have been asking me since I've been doing these uh, videos. So, who wants to start? Have you two? Okay, I'll start first. So, uh, first question, how did you become a Celtic supporter? <laughs> That's a million dollar question. Look, it, it, it wasn't my intention to become a Celtic supporter. I'm a Londoner, East End of London. Uh, grew up on Arsenal, Premier League, okay, it was the first division then Premier League. Uh, but I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel, so I went up to my mate Keeper, I said, Keeper, look, uh, what do you think if we do a YouTube channel? Because he does the editing, he's very good at that, he, he worked in TV and that. And he said, yeah, let's do it. So it's, it started off more as a hobby. And to be totally honest, uh, I started off, we started off, okay, 9th of May, two years ago. So 9th of May this year will be our second anniversary. And um, I started off really on, on Arsenal and then the Euros, okay, because the Euros were on, so we're doing that. We're doing the Premier League, okay, covering a few teams. And my mate Sean, Sean O'Malley, he subscribed, he followed me as well. And he just kept saying to me, oh, you've got to do Celtic, you've got to do Celtic, you've got to do Celtic. So, what did I do? I said, okay, let me have a look. Let me get some information. Uh, and one of the first videos on Celtic that I did was a video called, Who is Ange Postacoglu? And I'll be honest with you, I researched the guy and he reminded me of Arsene Wenger back in the glory days of Arsenal. So, I'll have to be honest with you, I really, it started off as uh, just, you know, talking about Celtic, you know, for my YouTube channel. I never ever thought that I would become a Celtic man. And I have, and one of the reasons for that is one, it's probably the best supportive club in the world. Uh, the football that Celtic play under range, because I only know Celtic under range, is awesome. But above all, it's the people that I've met. 
the love that I get from the Celtic supporters. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I mean, Paddy is one of my first, if not first, commenters. And you know, it's been two years that you know we, we've been uh, like commenting, and I, I've responded to your comments. Um, there are other people out there as well, KK. Mark Nugent, okay, and a few others. Um, but wherever I go around the world, I remember when I went to Orlando, the Celtic supporters in every Celtic pub, the love that they give you, how they embrace you, it's just something that I've never, ever encountered before. And I have to say, I didn't get that with Arsenal. You know, it's not the same. So, and that's it, basically. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't expressive. Okay. Um, <laughs> how long do you think Arns will stay at Celtic? That's a good question. Paddy, let me ask you first. How long do you think Arns is going to stay? Personally speaking, I think if the board back him with his ambitions, um, I think Arns wants to do something in Europe. So if the back him in that regard, I reckon he'd stay longer than the two, three years that he usually stays at each club. So I reckon if the board back him and go with what he sees, I reckon, listen, at the end of the day, Celtic, go on, we're in the middle of the room. Yeah, hold on a sec. <laughs> this is a classic. This is a classic. So, uh, what I see, I reckon Hans is the sort of person that he realizes that Celtic took a chance on him, got him into Europe, and gave him his chance. So I reckon he would repay that. He would do a Brad Rogers and do an Eric Rapp in the middle of the night and run at the first chance he's got. So I reckon Hans would stay for the long term if the board continue to back him. Well, look, I, I, you know, I, I hear what you're saying. Um, yep. Ange, I believe, loves Celtic. Yep. I believe he, he appreciates, okay, the love that he gets from the Celtic fans. Yep. Um, but remember, he got that in Japan as well, yeah? Yeah. And but Celtic give him his chance to do Absolutely, absolutely, 100%, yeah, because he did have other interviews with other European clubs yep. where they basically... You know, for lack of better, better, better words, just laughed him out of the room, so, so to speak, yeah? But Angie's a person, I believe, that um, likes to have a new challenge. And let's be honest, um, the Premier League is probably the top challenge for him. So, I do agree with you. I believe that he will stay, okay? Maybe more than his normal three-year average. Uh, I'm hoping he'll stay four or five years, to be totally honest, Seamus, yeah? I'm hoping that he's going to leave us with a legacy, which is what he wants to do. But I'm also the un under the impression, I'm convinced that Harry Kuehl was brought in to be, uh, you know, to go under the tutelage of Ange Postacoglu. And for the day when Ange does go away, Harry Kuehl will step into his shoes. That is how I see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I ain't fucking left here to answer all the fucking questions. I'll, I'll ask questions. Listen, you see it here, you, you think I was a selling supporter? <laughs> I'm recording this, I'm gonna fucking leave this in. <laughs> anyway, 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 so what, what, what do you think to what I just said? Right, well, what you just said there, uh, me personally, I can't see on going to the Premier League unless it was for Liverpool, because that's the team he grew up from both on so. I can't see him go on to an Arsenal, sorry to say or a Spurs or a Man U because managers in the Premier League if you don't have success straight away they're sacked you know people have been sacked there by the centre where Oz needs to have some work that he has to build his state of play 
and get a third a test a wee win, you know, for Scotland, Celtic have given that wee bit of time and space to build his stand up there, get his players in. Premier League is sort of unforgiven. If you haven't won in four or five games, you're out the door. So I can see him staying. If Liverpool comes up, which is his boyhood team, I can see him going there. But if George is not going to go anywhere anytime soon, I don't think so. Yeah, that, that's true, that's true. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Ah, thank you, Brian. What's your okay, next uh, question, Shaz? Who would you support in a uh, football match, Celtic or else Arsenal? That is a very good question, which I've been asked uh, on a few occasions. Um, but let me let me throw this question back to you, Seamus. Yeah, because you support Celtic, yeah. and you, but you also support Liverpool. Support Liverpool too, yeah. So if Celtic were playing Liverpool, who sorry, would you? Sorry. Can I just butt in? I support two teams. I support Celtic and I support Celtic B team. That's all. Okay. Uh, and with that, so what's the answer, Seamus? My answer is you can't get the atmosphere at the Celtic Park. Uh, it brings everybody together. Uh, I've been a Liverpool supporter all my life. And I, I have to go with my heart. I have, have to choose uh, Liverpool. What? Get out. Move it on. Go set the steps. Cam Graham, if you watch this, son, never meet him again at Celtic Park. Get him away. Okay, so next question is who uh, support Celtic Wales or Arsenal? That is a very, very good question, but it's um, impossible to answer for me, yeah? So I'm going to throw it back to you. I want to know, because I know you support Celtic and you support Liverpool, yeah? yeah? So if Celtic were playing Liverpool, who would you support? Um, that's, that's a good question, too. Well, it's, it's, uh, you, can't, you can't be the atmosphere of the Celtic Park. It brings, out, brings everybody together. But I've been supporting Liverpool all my life. But if I have to go in my heart, I have to go to Celtic. Okay, okay. Well, look, I've supported Arsenal all my life, yeah? But anyone that sees my videos, okay, anyone that follows me, sees that I do more Celtic videos than I do Arsenal. If I have to choose between missing a game, Celtic or Arsenal, I've got to be honest. I'll miss the Arsenal game and watch the Celtic game. Nowadays, it's more likely you're going to see me in a Celtic top than you are going to see me in an Arsenal top, yeah? So I think on that day, if Celtic were to play Arsenal, um, and you know, I can't answer that question. I'd have I to can be answer neutral. the question for you. Celtic has to win. Yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously, I, and, and that's that's correct coming from you, yeah. Um, but remember, I've been supporting Arsenal since I was eight years old, yeah, and I've been getting a lot of grief from Arsenal supporters because oh, you, you support Celtic now, you don't support Arsenal anymore, you know. So the chances of Celtic and Arsenal meet is very, very difficult. Yeah, you know, the last time they met was in 2005, yeah? So I think the only way I'd be able to answer that question is if the occasion came where Celtic were playing Arsenal. Yeah. as I have one last question for you. Why did you shave your hand? <laughs> yeah, well, basically, okay, right, I bought a new clipper. I shaved around here now, and I had, you know, I've got a little bit of a hair on top. Most people don't see, I'm, all, I'm always wearing a hat. And I thought I'd just trim it, and I just trimmed a bit too much, so I had a hole here, yeah? So I thought, fuck it, just take it all off, you know what I mean? <laughs> it hurts not. Oh, yeah, yeah, every now and then. Every, every now and then it does come out, so. Anyway, listen, um, I appreciate, you know, the questions. Um, and now, uh, if you want to give a shout out to anyone, we'll yes. wrap this up. I've got three girls back at home, so I have uh, Maya, Faith, and Olivia. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, I just want to tell them that I love them. Well, I want to shout out to my children, that is Oren, Holly, 
Aaron. <laughs> Bob Butler. Chu. The sisters Trace, Danielle. Brother in law Shane. My brother in law to be Matt. And to Paul John Dix and Captain Graham and all the people at Axel. Up the shelves. Well. I give a shout out as well to their families, their friends, okay, everyone in our doing. I will be coming down to visit, okay, and I'd like to thank Axum, okay, for the shout out again, okay. Big shout out to them. If you and don't the follow them, if you don't, and Pat, sorry, okay, if you don't. And the top. And the top, yeah, and the top, obviously. I did say it when we started, yeah. Um, if you're not following Axum, I would suggest you do follow and subscribe. And the funny thing is, if you look at it, we have nine million supporters worldwide, over nine million supporters. And when I look at some of these uh, YouTube channels, I'm not talking about mine yet, yeah, we're part-time, we do it for a hobby, but for Axum, for uh, Ryan 118, uh, 67 Hell Hell, yeah, uh, Celtic Fan TV. Subscribe to these people. Nine over nine million supporters worldwide. It doesn't okay. cost you any money, it's free. It's just, yeah. it's just free. Don't worry about us, we do it as a hobby, we enjoy it. But these people that do it in day in, day out, okay, and much more professionally set up than us, okay, subscribe to them. That is what I would say, yeah. So, anyway, be party. I'm out. Be sharp. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs>